Hello, my name is Dan Verson, and I would like to show you a gameplay of how our new game, Rise of the Zombies, works. It starts off, we're going to do a three-player game. This is my wife, Holly. She is playing the paramedic character. I am playing the biker character, and my son, Kevin, is playing the scout character. First thing we do is we take each of our stand-ups, and we put them on the safe house. The goal of the game is that we're in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. We're going to start at the safe house. We're going to play location cards to get us across the city. There will be six of those. And our ultimate goal is to reach the rescue helicopter. Once we get to the rescue helicopter, clear out any zombies that are in that card, we fly away to safety. Along with being threatened by zombies along the way, we also have a real-world timer. We're going to be playing a three-player game, and in a standard difficulty mode, we have 70 minutes to get through this. Now, in this video, we're not going to play for 70 minutes. We'll probably go for about 10 or 15 minutes just to show you the general idea. The game is we're doing a three-player game, which is indicated by this group counter here. It means that each of us has a health and a hand size of five. If we take five wounds, our character dies and we're out of the game. The number of cards we're allowed to hold in our hand is equal to whatever our current health is, so as we take damage, our hand size goes down. Because we're a group of three, we also have plus one on our zombie infestations. That means that as we enter locations, we're going to encounter one extra point of zombies in those locations. We have our character cards. We've previously dealt out five cards to each of us. And we are ready to go. Can you please set the timer to be 70 minutes? The timer, by the way, comes right. with the game in this lovely shade of zombie putrid green. <laughs> 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 All right. Okay. The basic play turn that we're going to go through, at the start of every turn, we get to commonly discard and draw new cards into our hand, up to our hand size of five. We're then going to play all of the cards that we want to, and then the zombies have a chance to move, attack, and then spawn in. At the start of the game, there's no zombies in play, and we're going to get started here. Are you ready to play? All right, let's do this. Let's hit the, all right, and... the timer. Go. Okay. Um, does anybody need a weapon? Uh, no. I, um, <clears throat> I'm actually going to be using my scout special ability, where I start off the game with five experience points, which you get experience points for killing zombies, and so that lets you buy new, uh, items, new abilities, like extra attacks, or gives you some health that you can get, as well as weapons. And my character's special ability, I start okay. off with five. Do you have a weapon to buy, or do you need yeah. anything? Do you need a weapon? Well, I was going to discard a couple of cards and uh, Oh, you're right. Draw First thing we do it. is... I messed that up. I got all excited. First thing that we do is we have to discard and draw. So I am going to discard a six-pack of beer cards and draw discard a card. Barricade. We're going to be... Uh, I'm going to be going into... Or we're going to be going into a location. I have downtown. Does anybody... I'd say this dump like it. the scariest downtown place to go. is a bad place. People want to go downtown. Lots of zombies. We've got to kind of level up a bit before we attempt something so, like that. So, I'm going to discard that one as well and draw a couple of cards. Okay. Is everyone done discarding and drawing? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Anybody... Are we ready to move out? I have a residential card. Oh, do you need a weapon? Paramedic does not begin with a weapon. I do not begin with a weapon. You know what? Um, I do. Let okay. Me, let me get. All right, let me give her a, a machete. I will place it next to it because it costs zero, so I can freely ready it, purchase it, and I place it next to my paramedic to play with. I have a zero cost flashlight, so that goes down. If we get into a bad time, I can maybe use that to draw some extra cards. That's our dog Max. He gets very excited when we play zombies. Well, yeah. The drawback to using the flashlight is sometimes if you get a bad die roll, you'll actually attract zombies to your location. Right. You gonna do anything, Scout? Uh, I'm gonna spend one of my experience <clears throat> points that I start off with. The pistol costs one, and it's far better than my starting weapon. Awesome. All right, neat. Okay. So let's get into a new residence area. Um, residential. Location. Unfortunately, it's a plus six infestation. Uh, uh, I can help you guys out. Okay. I have a private home, okay. which is only a plus three infestation. Neat. And so okay. play it. All right. So he plays the new location. His character automatically moves in. We then draw for zombies. Here that, here's how that works. Because it's a plus one difficult location, he automatically draws one card into his hand for playing it. We get one zombie point for the safe house, a second zombie point for the private home, and then three more 
um, zombie points because of the special note on the card. So Holly here is going to draw us five infestation points worth of zombies. All right, here's one point for the runner. <clears throat> That's bad. John here is bringing us a point. Huh. Frank is bringing us a point. Loner, zero points. So we're still yeah. at three. Yeah. Another runner for four. And a creeper for oh, five. A lot of points. Now the creeper's fast. Right. The first thing we check for is any fast zombies. The creeper's fast. That means that before we can do anything else, the creeper is going to attack the scout because the scout went in there first. To do All that, right. we're going to roll here on the creeper attack chart. Hopefully Kevin rolls low. A three is not so bad. So Kevin takes one, his scout takes one wound. Now that the fasts have been resolved, we can then react. To move into that area, I'm going to discard a card that has the movement symbol, the follow symbol. That allows me to move my biker into that area. Uh, hey, uh, paramedic, you want to come on in? I have a haymaker that will allow me to follow in because I have a follow symbol on the haymaker here. But you um, could also use it for your machete. But I would really uh, rather use it for my machete if anybody's got... Sorry, what? I will give you my flashlight that has a follow symbol. All right, I will discard. take it into my hand and then I will immediately discard it for the follow symbol to follow into the private You home. can only exchange cards that are items and weapons, which is, I just gave her an item, so all of that was fine. That allows her to come in. Now that we're here, we start doing our actions. Each of us gets one Time free action every turn. My okay. biker here is going to use his machine pistol, and I'm going to shoot at John here. He has two health points. I need to do two points of damage to him, um, which I'm not going to be able to do all in one attack, but I do a three, which is enough to score one wound. So John's now taken one out of his two wounds. All right. Uh, <coughs> any I can, other attacks? I can finish John off with my heavy pistol with my pre-starting buck. Okay. Oh. All right. I rolled bad. So. Okay. Do you have any other attacks in your hand? Let's see. Yes. I have a pipe wrench, which okay, I can so drop. He's discarding it because it has an attack symbol on the card that allows him to either play this as a weapon card or use it to get an additional attack with one of his existing readied weapons. Alright, it's a heavy pistol. Here we go. Yeah. Alright, I did one point of damage on my damage chart. John has two health. That's one point. Make that a second. He's dead. Kevin then claims that as experience point, so you can either keep the John card with him for one experience point where he can add a point to his counters, which gives him one more experience point to play in the future in order to buy things. Can you do okay. anything? Okay, I'm going to play an In the Zone card. Oh, awesome. Which allows, um, it adds one to all of my attack rolls until the end of the player turn. I'm then going to swing my machete at the runner, at this runner right here. Oh. One, which adds up to two, so nothing. Um, I'm then going to play a card and use it as it, with its attack symbol. Oh, instead of doing that, uh -huh. but if you keep it in your hand, you can ready it for a zero cost, and then you can do a final attack. I can do that, too. Okay, so I'm going to purchase the crowbar, and then immediately discard the crowbar and gain three final attack points that I can spread around to anybody I want. So I am going to place, you know, basically hit the runner for two, and the creeper for one. If you discard a weapon that has the final attack symbol, you have to discard it out of your hand, but you do automatically score the number of points on the weapon. But of course, you lose the use of the weapon. I also have a headshot, okay. which allows me to uh, play when you inflict one or more, more wounds, which I just did, and I get to inflict an extra wound on the same zombie. So this creeper now has taken two, which will kill the creeper. Awesome. I have now killed two zombies. Does anyone else have any other cards that they can play? Uh, okay, well, question. Does anyone else have a location card in their hands? No. no. Okay. But we got a deal, you know. All right, well, I'm going to hold on to my hospital for now. Okay. So, think hey, about it. No, I'm out. Now, here's how it works. Because the scout was the first character to come in, all of these people automatically attack him unless if we had targeted them with an attack. We didn't. That means he will suffer all three of these attacks. Um, if we have any cards, maybe dodges or something that can help the scout. No dodges. Back no dodges. Help. Okay. All right. So go Sorry, scout. Rolling. Duck. All right. So for Frank, he's going to roll at me. 
three, so I take one wound from him. That's not good. Alright, the runner rolls at me. Ooh. Yeah. Just barely got out of so that. So I want to roll with a two or less. The runner scored zero, so that's awesome. Now the last guy to roll on him is the loner. And then the loner. So he's taken three out of his five wounds, which means that now his maximum hand size is a two. He's not forced to discard, but he just can't draw any more cards beyond his two. Okay. The zombies have attacked. Before they attacked, they would have moved, but they were all in our card anyway. A, zoo a new zombie then spawns in, one card behind us. It's oh, a howler. It's and the unfortunately, howler. a howler will attract yet another card to hang out with her. Oh. With a loner. Okay, so now we have two of these guys which will continue moving toward us. Right. So now we gotta, We've got to get out of this private really home. get moving on this. Um, I'm going to give Kevin the energy drink right. because he has points that he can spend. I don't have any points that I can spend. We now go through our discard and draw phase. So we can draw for five. Right. <clears throat> All right, can you guys let me know if you get any oh, location cards? Oh, I got a med cards? kit. Oh, okay. I have no location. No location cards, because... All right, I guess it's cool. No location, but I do have beef jerky. Okay. Uh, that so, help him. Yeah, that might be better powered than my... Discard to heal a total of three wounds in your location. Okay. Um, I actually can buy it, too. Okay, awesome. And how are you going to buy it? So I'm going to spend my two killed zombie points, and so I have two points worth of zombies. I'm going to discard those and purchase a two-point beef jerky. I'm then immediately going to use my beef jerky, discard to heal a total of three wounds in your location, the scout is in the location I am in, so I say, hey, scout, heal up three wounds. There we go. Some beef jerky. Tasty that for you. That is awesome. Um, okay, the, now, we could move out of the private home to a new location, but we have a problem. Two of the zombies that are in with us in this location have the blocks trait. That means we cannot advance out of this location as long as they are alive. So we have to do something about them. Um, I'm going to equip a baseball bat for free, and the scout here, could you use a rifle? Uh, yes, I could use a rifle. Okay, so I hand him the rifle card. Now, he in, first he has to put it into his hand. In order to ready the card, he has to actually pay for it. Right, and the rifle costs two, and so I'm going to spend um, one point here, and then trade this out for... Another point there. I'm going to swing my baseball bat at the loner. I roll a six, which is enough to do a wound. I kill the loner, because he only has one health point, but he's worth zero experience, so I just discard him. That's my one free attack. Um, right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to discard the Lawninger card, which has an attack symbol, to do another attack. And this time I'll also use the baseball bat. This time I'm going to whack Frank upside the head. Ah! Oh. Missed. That? First aid kit, no one else get hurt, it's okay. Huh, yeah. whack on Frank. What's that? Okay, so Frank takes a hit. Oh, wow. Well. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to toss my baseball Seriously? bat. It's got a final attack to do one wound. I'm going to finish off Frank, claim it for some experience All right. points. All right. What I think, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the energy drink with John that I previously killed earlier. And this card, discard to draw four cards, or discard for each survivor in your location to draw one card. There's only three of us, and I kind of like me, so I'm going to discard this card, and I'm going to get four cards. Okay, second draw deck. And let's see. Alright, I got some good stuff. You're at 14. Well, I'm going to attack. I've got oh, a machete to swing up You're at 14. Okay. Well, we want to be able to get this onto YouTube. It might have a 15-minute time limit. We're not really sure on that. So we're going to stop the play right now, and we will do a future um, demonstration taking up where we yeah. left off. <laughs> um, thank you very much for watching, and yeah. hopefully we can kill this final runner and get out of here before the Howler and the Loner show up. Yeah. Thank you very All much. Right. All right. Let's keep playing. <laughs>